Hey guys, Van Atkins here with Crossroads Entertainment. I just thought I'd give a little bit of an insight to how we tune vocals here at Crossroads. Uh, I use Melodyne, uh, which is a, a great tuning tool. Uh, I've tried a lot of different ones, but this one's the one that I've settled on and I feel like it's the most natural. So what I've got here is a song from our wedding track series, um, an old 70s classic. Uh, I've got a little vocal passage here that I'm hearing some stuff on, and I'll show you how we can true that up and not have to call a singer back in uh, in case we miss something. So uh, this is just a great way to uh, dial it in and save a performance. So let's take a listen at what, uh, what we have here and let you hear it untuned. Okay, as you can see, there's a couple of notes in here that are um, a little flat, um, just not quite where they need to be. So uh, let's see if we can't fix that up. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the edit screen, and I'm going to make sure that we're set for semitone snap. Um, so when we snap a note, it'll actually just go in uh, one semitone increments. Uh, as you can see this note right here, let's listen, it's, uh, it's way flat, so check this out. This is untuned. Don't go trying. Okay, that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is snap this note in. Okay, now what it did is actually took it down to the nearest semitone, which is going to be way too flat. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take it, oh. we're going to drag it up to the F sharp. That's where it needs to be. Now let's see what we've got. Don't go try it. Okay, we're on the right note, but the note is sharp. And what shows you that it's sharp other than hearing it uh, is this squiggly line here, which is your pitch center. This kind of shows you the note, the, the, the blob here shows you the note uh, where it's supposed to be, but that doesn't mean that it's true yet. We need to kind of uh, work that note just a little bit. So we're going to go here to our menu. And we're going to select pitch drift tool. Now I'm going to grab this note and I'm going to center the pitch to the note. Okay, as you can see now that note's more centered into the F sharp where it should be. So let's listen and see what we got. Don't go trying. Okay, that helped that note tremendously. So we've got one other note over here. Um, that's um, that needs a little bit of work, so let's listen to that. Don't go trying some new fashion. Okay, this is scooping. It's actually flat and then going sharp. So let's go to our tool menu here and let's pick pitch tool. Let's snap. Okay, there again, it was closer to the wrong note, so it's pulled it down a half step. So let's take it up. It should be on a D. Okay, we've got that snapped in, but as you can see with the pitch center, we are actually ending up on a D sharp, which is going to be way too sharp. So let's take our pitch drift tool, and let's see if we can't fix that. Let's listen and see what we got now. Don't go trying some new fashion. There we go. We just saved a performance. Don't have to call the singer back in. So everybody's happy. Um, so anyway, that's just a little bit on um, how we tune vocals here at Crossroads. Appreciate you guys listening and check back. I'm going to have some more stuff uh, behind the scenes in the studio, uh, things we do. Uh, so... Just look back for us here at crossroadsmusic.com.